That's great. So we have uh, faculty, uh, top faculty, top notch faculty, um, uh, in the top elite universities in QX rankings index, as you said, and also the placement assistance that what you're providing is exemplary and also uh, the quality education and the value based education that what you're trying to um, uh, due to the students is also impeccable, sir. And above all, the students should keep motivated all the times because you know uh, it's not the same uh, pace they maintain in the first year second year third year fourth year some lows and some highs and they will have their own problems and they need uh, career counselors you said mentor mentee system is exemplary and how do you monitor the uh, uh, students performance uh, semester wise and also uh, through mid examination whatever it is sir? because monitoring of the student is the need are the are right sir how do you assess uh, the uh, knowledge levels of the students sir so we have this mentor mentee uh, system in place, which means that every student who join our university will have a associated mentor in place. And the mentor and mentee they're supposed to meet based on agreed frequency. Could be once in two weeks, once in three weeks. And they'll have a very casual chat. Okay. It's mostly to academics, how the student is performing, for example, in quizzes or assessments or some research projects. And then the midterm exam, and then the final exam, the semester. And then based on all this continued evaluation, the faculty, the mentor would have a nice idea about this particular student. And every mentor would have close to uh, 20 students under his or her direct supervision. Based on the feedback, sometimes certain courses could be hard. And we also have, like I mentioned earlier, learning outcomes, how we measure learning outcomes. So we have new modules for every courses. And based on the learning outcomes, we measure in terms of average. For example, average class performance is like this. If the whole class has performed badly, it means something is wrong with the teacher, something is wrong with the course itself. And then based on feedback, we take feedback from various stakeholders, from students first, then faculty, then alumni, for example, some programs you might have alumni. You might also take feedback mm -hmm. from alumni whether this curriculum is good mm -hmm. enough to face the modern world, etc. You also take feedback from employers, mm -hmm. prospective employers, to see that the curriculum is good enough, mm -hmm. particular course, mm -hmm. and also the whole program. And typically we take the feedback for the whole program once they graduate, so that they understand the 360 degree, what they have gone through on campus, and then they will give feedback. And based on that, we try to incorporate whatever we can. Mm. And then this is documented. We have internal quality assurance cell which audits periodically whether these procedures are followed. Mm. 